Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back. And we want to thank PJ and Special K for all your help in an endeavor today. You guys were absolutely fabulous. We love you and thank you. Oh, gosh. I mean a huge, huge, huge thank you. Yes, lots of things in the works, lots of projects going on. This was the last exclusive that we did on Patreon from two days ago. Uh, typically, I try to put them out about every third day, every third or fourth day, an exclusive that only goes up on Patreon. And speaking of that, we want to thank our newest member. We want to say a huge thank you to Brian as our newest Patreon member. Yes, we couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you so much, Brian. I want to share this with you guys. When I saw this, um, well, really, Cindy brought my attention to it. I had seen it earlier, um, and I wanted to run it by Cindy and see what she could look into it with. Again, if you don't don't, don't know uh, <laughs> Cindy's gifts, uh, Cindy is a very gifted uh, psychic with the ability to tap into and see things in a kind of remote viewing sense but I would say it's clearer uh, than remote viewing and much more direct and she can also channel and trance channel as well as uh, not uh, going fully under but I had seen this and I saw people on Godlike uh, Productions. Godlike Productions, in case you don't know, is a conspiracy forum. Godlike Productions was taken over by basically the system. Um, I want to say somewhere around, somewhere around 9/11. You know, right, right around when the events in, of 9/11 happened. The original owner uh, was no more. Was taken over by somebody else who, when we look at it, it's it's the feds, you know, it's again the alphabet soups that are running it. And when this thread came up, it got like one and a half stars. They were downplaying it, the trolls were coming out and, you know, doing their thing. So that told me there's probably something to this. And then when uh, I had a chance to ask Cindy about it, and um, she was checking with a couple of our uh, friends that actually were telling her about it and it reminded me to say hey what do you think oh my god this was like oh, it's too bad we're so far away from home and we can't uh, do a quick video on this because this is huge this really is huge listen to this okay I do not know what's going on right now I heard a noise I come outside there's sirens blaring and I see this huge trail in the sky it's midnight right now, and there's this huge trail like someone crash landed. What the heck is that? What is this? I wonder if there's anything on the news about this. No, they're not going to tell you about this one. They're going to downplay this. Right? Okay, so I was... I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. Please tell me if you had, anybody saw this. But I was coming back from the gym off of this back road outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. And we're like, the road and the trees and the sky opens up. What the? F I swear I saw giant sparks, like a plane, like maybe on fire or like, I don't know. But it was like, there was sparks across the sky and it left like, a huge like illuminated smoke trail like behind it for a long time and then like three seconds later the biggest aircraft i've ever seen in my life flies right over my truck and it was completely silent and it had like four flashing lights on it what the fuck and then now, like right outside, I'm here for work, living in a hotel, and right outside my hotel, there's like, a, like four black undercover police officers just like posted up <laughs> at an intersection. I don't know what, what the f did I just? Oh, you you saw something, all right? They something they they didn't want you to see. Um, as you see, many, many people saw this all the way from Raleigh up to D.C. 
what was this strange crash landing? Because apparently this thing did crash. And, you know, we're going to let you in on it again. Police everywhere. Very strange. You know, he sees what obviously was a TR-3B, um, one of ours, you know, one of the big triangles. And here you have... Oh, that's obviously a copyright song, so that could stop the whole freaking video right there. Um, hopefully that wasn't enough. Hopefully. You know, I'm going to have to see. We might be redoing this video. Anyway, you can see Chopper just <laughs> hanging over an area in D.C. This is really wild. And no, this is not normal. You know, road closed here. Somebody tag me when uh, it's updated. Yeah. What was going on? An object bigger than a C-130 on fire and crashing? Well, I'll let Cindy update you. So, you know, I don't know what they're going to use to cover this up in the news, but I'm definitely not going to believe it. I mean, what, what I saw is it was something like the TR-3B but it had some sort of wings on it and it was not flat it was not streamlined it was very uh it had like it, it was big it was fat it was kind of rounded off in a way and it was a machine that i am just not familiar with as far as our military having any access to it or anything that I could see our military using undercover at all. So it, it looked a lot like um, one of those stealth bombers, except it was really puffed up like, like you know, a, a, a puffy thing. It was different. It, it had this uh, floaty type of energy to it. The metal was not metal that I'm familiar with either. So it was made out of something different, had cloaking abilities, um, when I looked further into it, what I was picking up energetically is there was some type of an accident. There was some type of a uh, accident. Our, our skies are full with alien beings, with different beings who are watching us and who are watching the ascension process and measuring our frequency. A lot of these beings are star family visiting. Um, now, this these entities that i saw they looked like grays but they did not have a bad feel to them and they had souls they they so. definitely had souls and they were very confused so when i was trying to figure out exactly what happened it was something of a friendly fire it, that's the energy i got it was a friendly fire this was an accident this was uh someone who simply is not used to this atmosphere not used to the ship, not used to being here on Earth, and something went wrong. And I think something went wrong between two different ships. Like I said, uh, the energy of a friendly fire came to mind. And I, I'm not exactly sure what that means because I don't know these beings very well. So uh, it just feels like it was a definite accident trying to be covered up. They are going to put all kinds of news over this um it's going to be something well, not what i told you that's for sure so also um now you you saw beings that were hurt so yes. this did cause um injuries to them. physical injuries one being was in critical you yeah, saw yeah yeah it did definitely hurt one really really bad I'm hoping that he's going to make it. I, I don't have any access to feeling into them anymore. So I think wherever they're at, they're shielded. They're covered up. Um, the energy is not readable to me any longer. But with, with the second so-called moon here, there's a lot of other beings that are here watching and here helping in any way that they are allowed to. Uh, at least until the veil is lifted. So when they get the red light that, okay, humanity is raised to a level that they are allowed to see us, then they'll show themselves. But right now, these are a lot of beings who are following the rules and who are doing what they can, but also really rooting for humanity because, well, they have a stake in, in us doing better in our raising up in frequency because we can help. We can help quite a lot if we become part of the galactic family ourselves. So 
I thought that was interesting. Um, it wasn't anything that felt deliberate. It was just one of those things that was a mistake, but it was not done. It was not humans were not uh, involved with this. So she saw the grays that again are, there's different, many, many different types of grays, many, many different. Some are really um, cyborgs, you know, with some flesh on them, but they're mostly machine. Uh, it, some are definitely inclined towards the dark side. In fact, uh, the the draconian group utilizes grays perhaps more than any to be worker bees. Yet there are some that are uh, true uh, beings endowed with a soul and that are not evil. You know, so again, there's so many different variations on the grays that are out there. So they were basically doing what so many are right now doing, which is observing us. This is huge. We are at that point where it's like, are they going to tell them or are, you know, are we going to tell them, meaning other ETs? Because if, if our consciousness is to a certain level, then they're going to go ahead and they're going to show themselves to us. They're going to show themselves openly. Again, most of this planet is is not, it's just not open to humans at this point in time. So what we see of Earth is not really what Earth is. And this is why so many people think Earth is flat. It's because it's much, much larger than what they tell us. And there are lands that are off limits to us. We've been in quarantine. Because, again, the dark controllers, they've, they've done their best to alter our DNA, to lower our frequency, to keep us in a state of fight or flight, uh, and, you know, anxiety and, and constant war. They're, they're getting ready again now. You know, it looks like with everything going on geopolitic geopolitically, you know, they're very well probably going to play that card. But at the same time, the timeline is fluid. And, you know, if there are some ETs out there that decide, hey, you know, screw this dark control group, they're at a certain point now where karmically we can, uh, we can show ourselves that they're ready to see us and to know uh, that they're not alone and to expand, you know, their, their awareness of the fact that there are so many beings out there. So many, it's so my, so many are just rooting us on, cheering us on, saying, go, 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 come on, get, get awake, people, wake up, don't you know you're not alone? How can you believe those silly fairy tales they're always giving you? Like this, you know, it's just another icy rock, why does it leave a trail like it's a ship? It's just another icy rock. Uh, this is Comet C, 2023 A3, and... Um, you know, with, with the backdrop of, uh, you know, some of SpaceX ships. It's not a comet. This is a ship, <laughs> just like the moon. It's not a moon. It's not a rock. It's a ship. They just are always covering up ships coming and going. So, you know, people will be like, I don't think there's aliens. I've never seen any. I've never seen any evidence. Sure you have. You just have been told that it's not what it is. <laughs> I think Mike puts things so bluntly the way they need to be put sometimes, and it really helps um, people understand, you know, where's all the evidence? The evidence is all around you. It's just you've been believing what you were told, and that's normal because that's how humans are. We expect those that are telling us things, we expect them to be good people and good souls. We ex expect them to be telling us the truth especially those we look up to, our teachers, our guides, our parents even. Uh, sometimes they're only telling you a certain thing because they were told a certain thing. And this is where when you tap in to your soul and you, you start to understand things and, and the door opens up and you can see, then finally you can see what it truly is. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is another photo. This is from Westlake Village. You might be able to see it. This is in California, by the way. Uh, very good chance. Look to Venus. It should be around Venus. That's what you were saying, right, sweetie? Um, you know, good chance that we'll have naked eye visibility. Now, again, 
what does Nostradamus say in regards to this comet that runs? Well, that's when the war starts in, in earnest. Now, we, we thought, I thought, and I was wrong, that it very well could have been back in uh, April when that comet was running because so many other things fit the bill. But, you know, I was off in my timing. But then, you know, again, these these timelines are not set in stone. And there's, at, we don't even know how many consciousnesses there are on the planet. There's at least 8 billion, for sure. I mean, if, if there's a lot of other beings on the other lands around uh, the globe, it is still roundish, kind of more pear-shaped, um, then, yeah, I mean, it could be a hundred billion entities on the planet and then how about the ones inside the planet again you know everybody has a nice um excuse now whenever we see anything we're going to be questioning it because we're going to be wondering is this project blue beam with the fake alien invasion can you imagine you know just think about it here we have so many people that are of that cons piracy theory mindset that are waiting for a project blue beam and what if the ships are real <laughs> you want to talk about you're gonna have a lot of people say ah oh, that that's not a real ship uh until until it's you know actually tangibly there in front of your face because again so many religiously minded people are going to have their paradigms just crushed and destroyed and it's going to be shocking. I mean, it's going to be traum traumatizing. And, you know, yet we have to realize, you know, that's where we are at this point in time. It, it really is going to be so paradigm shifting. Now, meanwhile, what are they doing? Well, of course, they, they keep moving forward with their psychopathic wars. And here you have strikes on Israel um, coming from Hezbollah, they say. Uh, again, retaliations for everything that's come out. They're, they're still doing this. And they're still, I saw them drafting people, you know, forcibly drafting, as in, this is in the Ukraine, dragging people off the streets again, giving them quick haircuts and sticking a gun in their hand. When you understand how everything that we see from that point of view is just basically grabbing one poor innocent slob forcing him to go kill another poor innocent slob just to keep the psychopaths in in power hell no there's no way it, that i would ever take up arms against somebody else that's being forced to take up arms just to keep the people at the top that are completely demonic in power and rich and full of ego and greed and feeding that no we need more people in this world uh like our beloved special k that we talk about who is a true angel and uh maybe at some time she'll come on and do a show with us and uh again there's other people out there i would love to have uh come and and join us not obviously physically but you know if you have stuff to share like our our beloved dawn and dawn you know she was a fabulous interview and uh, also our good friend Leah who shared her um, literal death experience as she was clinically dead um, and I'd been trying to contact them because uh, you know I haven't heard from them. they're in the Asheville area and we did hear from them originally uh, a couple of days after as well after the big events but now we haven't and uh her and her husband are, are both in uh not the greatest health uh so uh, again uh, prayers out there for all those people that are suffering because of a system that is just content on maintaining its control and power and it just basically does it with the blood of innocence there's none of this should be happening none of this should be happening this is completely orchestrated, completely. So mass casualty events uh, going on right now around Haifa and rockets coming in, drones coming in. Apparently this uh, attack eliminated the Israeli chief of staff, Herzi Hal Halevi, in uh, this drone attack. 
as you can see, you know, the world is strongly divided with people taking one side or the other. We got to see the bigger picture. This is how they keep us divided. You know what? I mean, I haven't done this in a while, but here you go. It'll probably cause a few people to unsubscribe because they still don't understand that it's a divide and conquer tactic. So, you know, the whole world had one language and a common speech. And as the people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar. Now, when they're talking about moving eastward, again, after the, l after the previous cataclysm, after the previous RE set, uh, which caused massive floods and what we call the Younger Dryas event, which definitely was involving impacts from out there coming in here and caused the death and destruction of the majority of life on this planet. This is when people were starting to come back up out of the caves, starting to rebuild civilization. And so, you know, the people said, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens. Now, they're saying that in that it's given you the illusion that that is a breakaway society with high technology, right? How can you reach the heavens? You're not going to build a tower that's, you know, so many miles high. No, they're, they're talking about technology. They're talking about the ability to do what the gods do, which is come and go from the planet so that they can make a name, a Shem, Ham, Shem, and Japhet. You know, when you see Shem, uh, it literally translates as name in Hebrew. Uh, and yet that's the three sons of, of Noah. It, there's a lot of allegory. There's a lot of symbolism and there's an awful lot of taking from older older uh, stories as well, thousands of years older. And here they're foretelling what's going to happen. They're going to be scattered all over the face of the earth. So the Lord came down to see the city. But the reality is, again, you have to go and look at Hebrew. And Hebrew is saying Yahweh came down. It, one individual, one of the Elohim. The Elohim is a group. And yes, it's true. The original intention of using the name Elohim is is not in a derogatory way. Um, and the true Elohim, when you look back far enough, are really um, just very, very high level benevolent beings. But here that term is being used to designate um, not benevolent beings, but the draconian, uh, Anunnakian, Nibiruan uh, faction that came down and really conquered the earth and, and gave us the system that we have. So individually you have Yahweh, yod heh vah -He, one, uh, one of these entities coming down and saying, look, the people are all together. We have to confuse their language. In other words, eliminate any sort of ability to use telepathy because we had that ability at that point in time. Hence, this is why we are so dumbed down in so many ways and over-fluoridated, toxified, etc., etc., in frequencies that trap our consciousness and actually mix up their languages, literally take away their ability to use telepathy and get them to be dependent on verbiage and, and literally using your mouth to communicate, scatter us across the face of the earth and so they stopped building a city. They stopped building and utilizing technology where, where we could reach the stars too and travel off planet. And, you know, this is where they divided up, uh, divided up the planet. And so when you go and you look at Deuteronomy uh, 32, 8, in particular, this is called this the Song of Moses, but this is going back, and here you go. So, I will proclaim the name of Yahweh, give our Elohim. So, it's not Lord and etc. It's Yahweh who is one of the mighty ones, or the judges of humanity, or those that control humanity. So it clearly shows you. Again, it's in the plural. And, and there are accounts of Genesis. If you look to the Chaldean Genesis, which is older, it rings so familiar because it's the Genesis story, but where there's one or two lines in Genesis, there's paragraphs that give you much more detail. 
and there's dialogue between various beings that all get termed either God or Lord. Yeah, no, the, the, these, these are uh, the invaders that came and took over. And then it says Elyon. What's Elyon? El Elyon. So it, it's the Elohim that is the Most High. When he gave the nations their land, divided the descendants of Adam, set up the borders for the tribes. So in other words, these invaders set up the system we have in place now with nation states. This is, this is particularly useful because then you could set them at war with each other where they kill each other off and they are always low, keeping their frequency low through nonstop warfare. Uh, Yahweh's people were his possession, the, just the tribe of Jacob. So again, no foreign god was with him. Only Yahweh was with, uh, you know, again, Jacob. Yeah, this right here shows you no foreign god was with him because, you know, again, they're, they're one of a type of being. This is so obvious. You know, this is exactly what's going on. And, you know, let's just jump over here. Look at this. This is Space Force. Semper Supra. Wait a minute. Semper Fi. Semper Supra? Ah, the official U.S. Space Force song. We're the mighty watchful eye, guardians beyond the blue. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. The invisible front line, warfighters brave and true. Boldly reaching into space, there's no limit to our sky. Standing guard both day and night. Where the Space Force from? On high! I kid you not! On high! Oh, wait a minute. El El Yon. What? what? El El Yon. That's the God on high. The God most high, or the strongest one. Ah, okay. You know, and some equate him to Enlil, uh, just to say. And then some might equate him to Anu. Again, this this is all really a, a revised story, and people don't know what they're worshiping. By the way, Elon, Reeve, Musk. Wow, born on June twenty eighth, nineteen seventy one. Yeah, his his name, Elon, which has its roots in Hebrew. What does Elon mean? It's derived from the Hebrew word Elohim. Oh, but they're gonna say it means oak tree. Or strong and sturdy. I, yeah, no. Yo, it, El, El, Elon is really, what they're doing is they're doing that play on El Elyon. Elon El Elyon. Yeah, well, no, don't worry. It's just about the oak tree. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. This is, again, ruler or judge. And by the way, Reeve, his middle name, which is of English origin, means ruler or judge. It's a, it's a duplicity because this does the same. Can you see what the rock is cooking? I mean, seriously. Can you see? Can you smell what the Elohim are cooking? You should. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they have, they have a lot of repeats here it's just a constant repeat so you can look at this and easily understand you know when they're talking in the bible about the gods and the gods on high they were just beings in their day just like these are beings in our day so it's about us being able to stand back and have that discernment and understand what what is god and what is source for us and when we do say god you know who do we really mean and are you sure um, some people are comfortable using God because that's in, in their understanding of God, the creator God. That's what they know. But whenever I'm reading the Bible and I see the word Lord or God, it, I just get nervous. I want to replace it with this alien entity, you know, just put the word alien in there. Yeah, I mean, I think that should open eyes. And if it doesn't, it's just brainwashing that will never open. And so, you know, what can you do with that? Not much, you know, again, uh, all we can do is really awaken those that are possible, uh, that they will actually awaken and, and smell the coffee. Meanwhile, Netanyahu orders Irish, Italian, and Ghanaian peacekeepers to move five kilometers north as he is planning a full-scale bombardment of the Lebanese border. Ireland has said they refuse to move from their peacekeeping posts. Um, yeah, there's, 
the, there's a reveal going on. You know, the, the, the biblical plans for us are not going to come down as they wished because you know, we have a say in this. And we recognize it for what it is. Uh, yet, here you have Russia, they say, provided a drone that killed and injured over 100 Israelis tonight. Uh, you know, this is, again, they're, they're obviously trying to bring about Ezekiel 32. They give you the plans because it's their war plans. They make it look like prophecy, but all they're doing is just carrying out the plans that they put in place the first place. Mystery drones swarm U.S. military base 17 days. Pentagon is stumped. Is, is it humans? Is it Russia? China? Or is it the Anunnaki? No, no. Uh, is it aliens? Well, you know, again, there's a lot of different beings out there. A suspicious fleet of unidentified UFOs. Uh, uh, sure. Or drones. Over Langley. And so, you know, what is it? They don't tell us, but but they leave us wondering, you know, is this Russia and, and China testing us out? You know, again, Norfolk and over here, uh, Virginia, this is a big, big naval base. Uh, this would absolutely be a target. So, you know, it, it's interesting to see this as we go to that next stage. This was really interesting because, as you see, this Greenwood, just north of Greenwood, South Carolina. I've never seen a cluster over here before. Eight quakes, and they're not big, but I just never seen a cluster there before. So curious, five kilometers deep, 11 and a half on the surface, but it's not designated as an explosion. Another one over here on the surface, three kilometers, 15 kilometers. I don't know. Are, are they? What are they doing now with technology is my question. Now over here, when you look over here, this is Fort, Fort Jackson. Um, yeah, we've seen an awful lot of quake swarms over here. I don't know. Maybe they're connecting something. Um, I, your guess is as good as mine. I, do you pick up anything? You know, I was feeling a little extra under earth movement. You know, possibly lava, maybe. I was looking at the water, feeling, okay, there's deeper water under there. I don't like it. It doesn't feel good. You know, that area is very... I don't know. I, I, I think they did some things around Asheville that brought up water from the ground. So I don't like to see movement in these areas. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah. Um, and just case, because we missed this a little while ago, there was uh, yesterday, I think. Yeah, yesterday we had 6.2 in Costa Rica. That was pretty significant. Um, so, yeah, there's there's still this energy as far as quake activity that's building up. So, you know, Florida does a good job. you got to say Florida, for all that has happened to Florida, um, they, they really don't take long to get things organized. And, you know, this is, again, showing what the 50,000-plus linemen uh, that came from all over the U.S., to help so now it's less than a million people without power in less than a, a week's time and really again the the one that has been without a doubt i think the more surprising uh tragedy has has been uh, north carolina and some parts of tennessee too and here you go people still are going to have to pay their mortgage right uh what i don't know if people how are you going to pay your mortgage when you can't work or I, I, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. Again, we send our prayers and love to everybody there. So here you see the WF must be shut down entirely. Their members charged with treason. I would agree with that. I think most most of us would agree that really understand what's going here, going on here. I think their days are numbered. I, I think it's very very numbered. Um, and even our, our friend, the Polish psychic, has seen that that whole movement is gone come 2028. It's just uh, like Kansas song, Dust in the Wind. Mm -hmm. Isn't this cute? Uh, cows 40 miles away have just started doing the exact same thing. You know, animals are so extremely psychic. Uh, they communicate and they read each other. So obviously they can read each other. There is there is a common mind. There is a common energy and they're picking it up and they're seeing visions and they're doing what they're doing. And I think this is pretty cool. It's cute. 
and we can do the same we really can i mean not if you're gonna basically be rolling in the black goo so to speak and if we don't take care of ourselves what we found and we shared this on e arts is that um so far with the monitoring of humans what the uh the extraterrestrials have found is that our light bodies for the most part are ready to go and if our physical bodies were at the same point in time we would be seeing disclosure and it wouldn't necessarily be our government that's giving you the disclosure uh again there's many factions out there there are many that are not part of the galactic federation and also not a part of the draconian alliance as well just doing their own thing and there are more every day that are watching us rooting us on because they want us to be free and then we could be free to interact with whoever it is we choose to interact with ourselves and here is a man rescuing a dog uh buried in the mud it, it, you know again acts of kindness are you in service to yourself alone or are you in service to to the planet and to humanity in general and all the creatures on the planet we have to look at things in a much different light they've tried to teach us uh, their dysfunctional form <laughs> of, of philosophy and also you know religions where it's survival of the fittest it's that Darwinian evolution you know eat or be eaten no, we, we have to change our perspective and understand we're part of a greater whole. Let's work together. We have to help each other. We have to give each other grace. We have to give each other understanding and just be the best version of you that you can possibly be and really give that understanding to yourself and give that understanding to other people and reach forgiveness in all places possible. That won't be possible everywhere, but where you can, let's do it. As this little guy is, is having a rough night tossing and turning, and, and yes, the news can definitely do that to you. Um, if you guys have any excess energy for prayers and positive attentions, uh, if you could send some the way of our uh, dear beloved sister KK. So we have our special K and our KK. Now KK has been going through a lot of pain. Um, it's really truly been a, a Job, a Jobian uh, time period for her with a lot of physical aches and pains and suffering and she's gone through a lot and she's maintaining her frequency in spite of all this suffering and we love her dearly too um, please do again put out your intentions for all those uh, that are still facing um, you know looking for people that are missing in in the mountains again and all around the world all those you know that are being assailed by the system may they they find peace and safety source bless and namaste namaste